I would like to thank everyone who has supported me through Patreon in a way more immediate than presenting a scroll of names by telling you exactly what it means to me. My experience of the past couple years has been a long slide into deprivation and uncertainty that coincides with deep depression and physical deconditioning. A slide that is so steep that I have begun to navigate social services in order to survive. On one hand, I am deeply frustrated and ashamed that I have to resort to this, even while knowing this is a system that I have paid into all my life. I plan to do a deeper dive into depression and deconditioning as it is a public health and humanitarian crisis that has been almost completely ignored, mostly because any criticism made of the COVID response is considered to be impolitic and actionable by cancellation and deplatforming, which might give pause to someone with something to lose, but when you are like me, who has already lost most everything, including my sense of self, it's like threatening someone already swinging from a noose. I have lost my savings, my home, and then my car when I have to decide somewhere in this descent whether I wanted to make car payments or pay rent. And I lost that along with any sense of peace of mind. So much of what we take for granted is so fragile that I'm not surprised I never thought about this until I had to. Not only is how I am going to buy groceries uncertain, but my living situation is extremely tenuous and I have to apply for subsidized housing. The problem is that the state is reluctant to provide that subsidy unless one is generating some kind of income. One of the greatest frustrations I am facing is reconciling myself to my own physical limitations. Those limitations are not a matter of me not being able to exert myself, but even limits my ability to stand very long or walk very far, which makes any sort of work in retail or as a day laborer nearly impossible and severely constrains my ability to generate any kind of income. And the loss of any means of transportation makes it impossible for me to even find work doing deliveries for DoorDash, Instacart, or some similar outfit. And as someone who now no longer has the option of living in their car, I'm not certain I made the right decision. I went well past the idea of second-guessing myself into the conviction that every decision I made was simply going to be wrong. And in that, there's a lot of paralysis. That and the simple fact that I don't feel presentable. I feel unable to face the public. Somewhere in the lockdowns, I became increasingly agoraphobic to the point where, should I have to go out to get some necessity, I would wait until nightfall so I could at least do it cloaked in darkness. I think I started avoiding looking at myself in the mirror long before I wanted to be invisible to others. What your patronage has done is allow me to present to social services that I can generate some kind of income and build on it. Getting rich on YouTube is the farthest thing from my thoughts, and probably outside my actual abilities. Even if I was ever well put together enough to be a personality, that doesn't seem to be something I can do now. What your support has allowed me to do is survive. What your support through Patreon does is give me a reasonable chance of not ending up on the streets, divested from any sort of redemption. What your support through Patreon or PayPal or some other platform has done is give me a chance to catch my breath and see that there is a future. Telling my caseworker that I was able to generate some income, any income, has made all the difference. And that's it. That's what your support means. Your support has made all of the difference. And for that, I would like to thank you and let you know that this inspires me to redouble my efforts to provide some thoughtful and meaningful content.